So this is the BenQ X500i. It's a 4K HDR gaming projector that I'm really excited to showcase to you by connecting this to my PS5. This comes in around 1500 pounds. Make sure to check the link in the description if you want to read all of the key features and specifications. But let's go ahead and take a look at what comes in the box first. So you have yourself the power plug. This also comes with an Android TV stick that you can connect to watch all your favorite content. A really good high quality remote control. User manual with a couple of batteries for the remote. And this is the projector. Let's take a closer look at the design whilst I'll show you the key features along the sidebar. Now this is a very high quality, well-built projector. You can see it does look heavy duty. It is short throw. You can see right there, 4K HDR, it's part of the X series. And this is extremely bright. It goes up to 2200 ANSI lumens, which is on par to be as equivalent to those high quality premium laser projectors that you sometimes get as ultra short throw. Now just along the top, you have yourself a manual focus and a zoom wheel that you can use to control. Then you also have a few buttons just here on the top. You can see directional menu buttons, power button, mode, eco, back menu and source. And then right here, it does mention that this is specifically a gaming projector. So for the ports on the back, you have yourself the audio output, a VGA port, media reader port, so you can connect to something like a docking station. You have two HDMI ports and they're both 2.2. You can connect your gaming console to the first one. The second one can be for your eARC. So if you wanna connect this to your soundbar, then you can also do that here. But one thing I also like is that this is also compatible with a home theater system that supports 7.1 channels and also a Dolby Atmos system as well. So you can really get that surround sound home theater experience. You also have an optical input and it doesn't have USB-A inputs, but this does have a USB-C input, which is also nice to see. Then you've got the power port just there. Along the bottom, you have yourself a kickstand that you can use to elevate the projector. Then you also have three points of screws, the quarter 20 inch threads, in case you do want to mount this on a specific plate or tripod or even ceiling mount. Now this also has a lot of gaming specific features built into this, which I'm going to showcase. So let's go ahead and connect this up with my PS5 and let's take a look at how this performs. Okay, so everything is now set up. I've got my PS5 just there on the left connected to HDMI 1 and I've powered on the BenQ projector. There's a lot of daylight coming into the room and as you can see, this actually looks very playable. It's not very washed out and the 2200 ANSI lumens is great for keeping the visuals displayed very vividly, especially in daytime conditions. Now the X500i is equipped with a shorter throat, so you don't need to position this at longer distances, which is perfect for transforming your living room into a gaming zone without requiring extensive space. So the X500i can project a large 120 inch image from just 1.8 meters away, as you can see from this screenshot, and it makes it perfect for smaller rooms where traditional projectors might not fit. Now, one thing I also want to mention, because this is a gaming projector, everything is linked with the remote control. So you don't also have to rely just on your gaming controller to navigate through the system. So let me show you an example. Right, so I have my controller here. Now, obviously I would use this to navigate and play my games, but I just wanna show you that you don't necessarily need to rely on the controller to navigate the system. I'm just going to place this down here. Now, if I use the BenQ remote control. This can also navigate your PS5 system. You can see, this is basically all interconnected. That just shows how much they've thought about the ecosystem. Because if you do want to change to various different modes whilst you're having your gameplay, then you will use the controller quite often and you want it to link and don't want it to navigate away from your gaming console system and back onto any of the inbuilt OS system on the BenQ projector. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the settings because this does come with some modes that you can switch to. The button over here is called projector menu. You can just press that at any time. This brings up the menu for your gaming. Picture mode, you can use this to select amongst four different modes. So you can go from HDR10 to RPG, FPS and SPG. So depending on the type of game you're playing, you can select the mode that best matches your picture. So I'm gonna start off with a demo with an FPS game. So I've selected this. You also have the option to choose various different sound modes. 
Now this does have really high quality audio and it does have spatial audio with surround sound. So you're really going to hear the core aspects of your game. So if you're playing an FPS shooter, you can hear your opponent's footsteps from the right direction that they're coming from, just so that it doesn't hinder your gameplay whatsoever. And that's one of the key things if you're investing in a gaming projector is to make sure the audio is just as great as the visuals. So you can go from cinema mode to music, to FPS, SPG, and user selected mode but I'm going to leave it as cinema and I will showcase how this sounds. You also have the option to change the light source mode. So you can go from normal, eco, dynamic, or back to normal. I'll leave everything on normal for now. It has 2D keystone correction, game settings. This is where you can quickly change the picture mode. Like I mentioned, it has those four options right there. Details adjustment. You can also change this from high, low, or off. I'll just leave that as low. If you are playing an FPS game, to help your gameplay a little bit better, it might be useful to add a crosshair right in the center of the screen. So if I go ahead and show you there, right now there's no crosshair. If I press the OK button on the remote, this will add a crosshair that you can use. If you press it again, it gives you a different version. Press it a third time and you can turn it off. You have the option for digital zoom, and this can also be paired with an app that you download for your Windows laptop called Setting Exchange, but we'll touch on this more later in the video. Now, if you go back into the basic menu, you can also change the menu type to advanced. This gives you a lot more options if you want to really go ahead and adjust the audio or the visuals and the display with a lot more settings than the basic ones, then you have the option to do that here. But I'll just quickly cycle through these options just so you can see what they are. And finally, like I do have to mention, that this is a gaming projector, so you want to make sure it has little to no latency and it is lag free. This is why this projector can perform 4K at 60 Hertz with a very low latency of 16 milliseconds. But if you do play at 1080p, this can go up to 240 Hertz with a literal no latency of four milliseconds. Now I do have to mention the PS5 is limited to 120 Hertz. So all the gameplay you will see, I will try and do at 1080p at 120 Hertz, just so you can see how fast and how smooth the gameplay is at the maximum frames per second. So now having said that, let's go ahead and load up some games and see how this performs. But I will also darken the room a little bit more, just so you can see how clear this looks when you are playing this in the evenings or at nighttime. Okay, so let's jump into Call of Duty. This is set at 1080p, 120 Hertz. Okay, the sound was great. I literally heard more audio and more clarity in the footsteps and the shooting in the gameplay than I do with my headphones. That's how clear the audio is on these speakers. Now you do have to excuse, you may see some type of rainbow coloring on the screen. That's mainly because of the four LED light source that's reflecting off of my ALR screen here. But the way I'm seeing the image on the screen compared to how you might see it in the video is slightly different but I can just say the visuals are absolutely great, especially when the room is dark. The colors are vibrant, the contrast ratio, the deep shadows, everything is as clear as you would expect it to be, just like a native TV. So I'm just gonna play a couple of more different types of games just to showcase the quality. But if you do see some coloring abnormalities, just know that's not normal, I do not see that. That's just the way it's reflected back onto my screen. There weren't a lot of people back then. Everyone chipped in to build this place little by little. Hmm?
Are you okay? Tell me. I don't want to see it myself. So there you have it. Hopefully it gave you a great idea of how great the audio, the visuals, the playback, the latency, just overall the gaming experience with the X500i was so good that I can replace my TV very easily and comfortably with this projector. No matter if I'm playing it at daytime or at nighttime, I think it's just great. It's a very premium quality projector and even having the remote actually feels very premium as well. It does have backlit buttons, which is also a nice touch that I've not seen on any other projector. And if you really wanted to take your gaming to the next level, if you are a pro gamer, for example, then you may want to introduce more advanced settings that is compatible with this projector using an app called Setting Exchange. Now you can download this from the BenQ website. I'll put a link in the description description but this is actually very good to create some custom user profiles just to enhance your gaming experience whether that's the brightness the color gamuts the contrast you can make all sorts of adjustments you can also save them so that you can have them as presets you can import them into the projector from this app as well there's a whole bunch of gaming profiles that you can generate for yourself that matches the types of games that you play and you can even connect with the wider community and share all of your settings and profiles with other users and this is a great way just to connect to the global gaming community so for me overall i'm super happy with this especially with my ps5 but no matter what type of gaming console you have you connect it via hdmi and it's going to work absolutely great and one thing i do want to mention as well most people that are looking for a home cinema projector will buy one that doesn't have gaming capabilities built into it, but just will end up connecting their console and they will find a little bit of lag and latency because it just doesn't have those features and hardware built for gaming consoles. My recommendation would be if you are a gamer that also wants a home theatre system, look for a gaming projector as your primary source and then have the ability to have Android TV built on top of it, which this BenQ X500i has. Regardless, if you want to use this for gaming or just enjoying your content on Netflix, Prime Video, whatever it may be. Now you can connect the Android TV stick with the back panel, just need to remove one screw. It slots into place and then you have Android TV up and running. And this is great as well. You have a Netflix licensed app and you can add all of your favorite apps. And of course, you can download many more apps via the Google Play Store. So the content is great to watch on Android TV. Let's just show a quick example from a video on YouTube. You can see the quality is amazing. And the quality actually gets enhanced because of the fact that this is a short throw. So the projector is a lot closer. So the LEDs that actually hit the screen makes it more vibrant, more colorful, more vivid, more sharp. And just the clarity on this is absolutely amazing to watch your movies or your TV shows from whichever streaming demand service you like. This covers everything and I would count this as the all-in-one solution for your home cinema setup. Now I have to say one of the best reasons to go for a gaming projector like this is that you can not only just play games via your 35 inch monitor, you can play games via your 55 inch TV for example, but having a gaming experience on something as large as 100 inches like I'm doing, or even going bigger to about 150 inches if you have that space, that's a gaming experience like no other. I've just not stopped enjoying playing my gaming with this whole projector setup and having a very large screen it just makes that experience something that you just can't get with a TV or a monitor. So for me, that is a very big bonus. Hopefully that review was useful. Hopefully it gave you a very great idea of how this looks, how it sounds, and ultimately how it performs with gaming. I had literally no problems whatsoever, and it's just feature packed with a lot of things that make this the perfect home projector system for your ultimate gaming experience. If you like this, make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe and drop any comments if you do have any questions about this and I will get back to you as soon as I can and I will catch you all at the next one. Take care.